From a video showing Russia's most modern T-90M tank, we can see it's getting a modification. In the netting hanging down from the turret, Contact 1 explosive reactive armor is mounted. The protective netting is something the T-90 didn't have in the beginning, but left a weak spot for shape charges fired from close range, as the gap between the turret and hull was created. This lack in protection was partially covered up by protection net, which works the same way as slat armor or net grid. By damaging the incoming shape charge, the warhead doesn't detonate correctly, mostly subtracting the damaging ability the warhead can do. While these are not 100% effective, they add a cheap and lightweight solution to decrease the risk for such an attack. The net does however do nothing to protect against armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds. The T-90 tank has however Contact 5 or Relic's explosive reactive armor on the hull, which has capability to counter these types of attacks. However, this makes the Contact 1 strapped to the netting not a smart idea, as the Contact 1 only gives some protection against shape charges, the same as the protective netting does. The ERA blocks doesn't add more protection, but just flip the protection to work another way, while also adding weight, as each block weighs around 6 kg. They've just added 150 kg while adding very little value. If a armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot round hits the contact one, it doesn't add more protection. While if a shape charge hits the added protection, the shape charge will certainly go off either getting absorbed by the ERA block, if it's an older and less capable warhead, or able to pierce through into the gap in between the turret and hull. Same with the netting, that could either disable the shape charge or let it pass through, hitting the gap. While not sure how effective it could be, the net could steer the warhead into the ERA blocks on the turret, while with the contact 1, the charge has already detonated, pushing horizontally more in the gap in between. So if they actually wanted to increase the protection, contact 5 or relic protection would be needed, both to better counter shape charges, but also to be able to tackle more armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds. While the T-90 tank would most likely be inoperable after getting hit by a higher penetrating rocket anywhere on the side, as seen here in this video, against a shoulder launch rocket launcher using block 5 or relic could make a difference, while contact 1 mostly adds weight. Anyway, that's all I had for this video, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, bye.